Just out of curiosity, okay, yeah. is this just the style that you landed on that you were a real, like, big fan Are of? Are you talking about my jeans? Yeah. Yes. No, bro. I've tried so hard. It's so difficult. I have a 32 waist, 36 long, and my quads and hamstrings So why are, don't you just get wider pants? Yeah, custom made. Bro, I've tried. I've tried. Loose almost. I'll tell you what happens. It's like it gets weird in my crotch, and I want to be stylish, and it doesn't even really bother me. Like, I get it all day long, bro. People hate on me so hard for that shit. Bro, fuck them. I got a world-class ass. Fuck them. I don't care. You don't think that, like... <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you're not going to hurt my feelings. No, I'm not trying to hurt your feelings. I'm How just bad saying, like, is this, though? How bad is Let this? me see. Uh, it's actually not that bad. Yeah, I mean, it's, he's... Oh, you do have yeah, a they're, they're huge butt. Yeah, bro. It's, it's tight. Yeah. It's a little tight. I mean, the thing is, oh. it, it fits. It's just it's the... Just the inseam. Do you work little... out your glutes? Dude, I squat. Yeah, a lot. You do? Okay. Man. Yeah. I, dude, I spent I spent most of my youth in a squat rack. Yeah. The thing is, when you stand up and you adjust them, they don't look that tight. But when people catch you in precarious situations, maybe yeah. they take a stride or something yeah. like that, then it could really grip around the... Bro, I'm be honest with you. I don't give a shit. Yeah. I really don't care. Then honestly, I think that's what's attractive. Yeah, I really don't care. That you don't care. Attractive. That's... Yeah. I don't, bro. Like, I've tried all kinds of jeans. Mm-hmm. And... Bro, in fact, if you were to go to my closet in Louisiana, I bet I have over 50 pairs only over trying to find the right fit, you know, but it is what it is, man. I'm not mad. So they're not skinny jeans. These are like normal jeans. No, just no, they're skinny. boot cut jeans. I, t- I, I okay. tell you, I thought they were skinny. Fuck jeans. No, bro. They're not skinny jeans. They're all <laughs> no, they're athletic. Just to give you guys. Idea, they're athletic that's... cut jeans. I'm buying these workout jeans. There's the Walmart <laughs> jeans that I wear uh, that are boot cut. Yeah. Bro, those aren't skinny jeans. I can't even give my cab in skinny jeans. <laughs> no, you don't understand. They do. You know how? You know how I know? Yeah. They do a ratio. Whatever your waist is, they do some sort of ratio to your thigh. My waist to thigh ratio doesn't work. You know what I'm saying? Now look, I can go get really baggy jeans, but I also look like a fucking goober. Why don't you just wear I, a belt? I look like a skater. I do, but what happens is when I put the belt on, like, baggy. so I've tried this, right? I've tried to buy 36 waist mm-hmm. so my thighs will fit, but it never tailors out right. And then when I put a belt on, I'm that dude that has pants on that are too big and it all crinkles up and it's all right. It, it, custom. I've done custom. I've not, I've never found a guy that could make it work, you know? And it is what it is. They don't man. have enough fabric when they're making the pants. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Large enough. I don't know what it is, man, but you know what? It's never slowed me down. You know, <laughs> this clip is going to get so many views because it's the equivalent of Ryan Pineda's haircut. Yeah. yeah. Ryan Pineda's haircut is fucking it. dope. Yeah. He yeah. gets a cut like once a week. Once a week. It's, it's insane. Like, bro, he, like, bro, he has a hairline. I've, a week I've never like seen that. a hairline It's like immaculate. That. It is flawless. Yeah. That is yeah. a handsome motherfucker. Oh, bro. yeah. He's gorgeous. Thank, bro. Jesus. Anyway, um, now I'm going to get called gay. Good. <laughs> it's perfect for my People pants. call Graham and I that all the time. Bro, they, I get called all kinds of shit. Someone commented. It's like, did you see the way Graham looked at Jack the other episode? Are they dating? Bro, you know what's funny about that? You know, like, I. Uh-oh. <laughs> going oh, online you really go. realize how fucking retarded people can be or they got nothing to do like they're talking about my jeans on the internet and what's funny <laughs> what's funny to me what's funny to me is there's a guy that said that five comments ago bro it's not even authentic at this point to make fun of me for my jeans like get like i don't give a fuck man fuck you like i truly don't care but yeah man i'm still buying jeans i, I try all the time we constantly buying jeans mm-hmm. i'll come I'm gonna home say it is it's the shoes I think if you were to wear sneakers, it would balance out the silhouette because you're wearing the the dress loafer. And I think when you go from jeans to my cowboys, my cowboy boots are sleek too. It tapers. I I want it to taper. taper. That's good style. It's good style. (laughs) I think if you wore sneak like some Nike sneakers with I've got bar I've got barbell jeans. I've got all these like jeans for people that work out. I've just not found the right pair, man. And honestly, I think it's a good pair of shoes. I think you like it a little bit. And I don't think there's any. I do. I do. <laughs> there, there we go. There we go. And, and, I don't think there's listen, a problem with that. I'm super not sorry about it. Yeah. Like, I wish I could paint them bitches on. Because <laughs> I got an ass and legs that you ain't never seen, right. bro. And and I worked really hard for it. And so why wear jeans? Why not just go with the short like shorts? Like leggings. Short shorts? Just short short. I do wear short shorts quite a bit. 
I'm not short shorts. No, no, above like, knee. Tr- I'll wear like above trunks the above the knee. Well, yeah. above the knee is kind of in style. It is. Though. Yeah, so, like, I, I got a, like a bunch of Ni- the thigh. Nike shorts yeah. that I wear with like button ups and I'll button them to like right here. So my like my whole chest is out and shit. It's like a Miami vibe look and mm-hmm. I'll wear like that white nikes with the socks like the halfway socks like oh yeah yeah i do that shit yeah i'm sure somebody has something to say about that but that's pretty much my same response Mm -hmm. is get some of this because you know i work hard for this ass bro should jack unbutton that top button yeah you look like a nerd bro that's really yeah i always tell him i I would do up here if i could but then Graham would. if you had if you had a chest you wouldn't i do have a chest check it out got plenty of hair there too it's like a top. See, I think this looks a lot more relaxed. I do too, man. I like it a lot. Why didn't you say it? If we're boys, wouldn't you tell me? I wasn't really looking for it, mm. honestly. If I'd have noticed it, I'd have said something. All right. Well, now, now I'll just. There we go. I do think that you should shave your neck. I did shave my neck. No, I'm talking about to here. I did. No, like, see all this under here? Oh, this? Yeah, man. So, so that beard can come in. No, no, no. Something. Okay. So my brother told me, like, He's when wrong. I first started growing it, go like this. See this double chin that it makes? Shave all that line. When the fuck are you walking around like this? Well, I'm just saying because if you go no, right, no. yeah, if you go up too high, then it looks no. You should weird. go up to here. Like I would leave like a half inch underneath it, so it falls under here, because you're taking away from your jawline, bro. <laughs> it like you're ta- you're literally robbing your own jawline by doing really? it like that. Yeah, fuck yeah, because your jaw your jawline is blending into your neck hair. You need to at least come to the underneath part. I can do that. You should. I'll try it out. It's just my brother told me that as soon as I started growing a beard. So I've just been doing that my entire life. People that come to me, they're like, Jack, you have a beard. How do you trim it? I say, go like this. Go along the line. No, bro. No, you need to go like this and shape up to under your jawline and let it go right under your jawline. Because yeah. you have this, you have, you have really good beard like outline, right? Thank you. Um, if you were to shape, like, and you also have a jawline, but you take away from it because it blends into your neck. And That's really fucking it up. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. I don't know. I think it's fine the way it is. No, it's, I like, bro, it's better. It It'll be better like. the other way. I don't know what it would look we like. We should do it after the show. Do you have a razor? We should get a razor. I don't have a razor here. 